Hi everyone. Today's quarantivity is also a little bit of a PSA. Um, uh, throwing the, do the ball for your dog to play fetch over and over and over and over again is really not a good idea. I know it's convenient and I know it's a good workout and it does tire them out sort of, but there's a few reasons you want to be careful with just repetitive fetch in the backyard. One is physically that's really hard on your dog's body. If you start to watch them closely and pay attention, you'll watch that they move in exactly the same way, in the same direction, at the same speed, every single time they fetch the ball. They'll always turn in the same direction. And then they also, there's that sudden stop at the end when they get to the ball. And over time, that repetition of the same movements at the same time with that sudden percussive stop at the end, um, over time that can really break down your dog's body. Um, prematurely far faster than it should than their body should break down it'd be sort of like if you went and did like I don't know a thousand suicides every single day but you were only allowed to turn in exactly the same direction how would you feel in two years like you know not great probably so um, that said um, you know I think that everything in moderation is good um, a little bit of ball play is totally fine. Just, you know, be reasonable about it. Don't run them like that until they can't move anymore. That's not healthy. And then also think about the fact that just fetching a ball is not a whole lot of mental stimulation. There is no problem solving. There's no thought. There's no, um, there's, there's no impulse control involved. It is just purely physical exercise. And, um, that's not always great, especially for like your higher drive dogs who tend to be the ball obsessed dogs anyway, because they love that movement and that activity. If you have a higher drive dog like that, that sort of brainless adrenaline <coughs> is not good. Come here, babe. Um, it's not good. Uh, it mostly just serves to work them up into a frenzy without teaching them how to control it. So Janie and I are going to show you one of our favorite games. Janie is absolutely ball crazy. <laughs> See that? She is ball crazy, um, but we play it with a twist. We play, we call it ball in the bushes, and I'll show you what we mean. So um, first rule is I don't let her just blindly dash after it. I actually hold her back until it stops moving. Second rule is um, I don't help her. <laughs> She's ball crazy, and if she can't find the ball right away, I don't help her. So I'll show you what, what I mean. <laughs> Janie, come here, babe. So the reason I hold her back while I throw the ball is because if I just threw the ball, she's so obsessed with getting the ball. That is the only thing on her mind. It's the most important thing to her in that moment. And she will go running through these sage bushes and smash her face in them. And you know, she's kind of accident prone because she's, um, well, she, she has no fear and goes at really high speeds. And we don't really want to pay for the vet bills over and over and over again. Plus we don't want to break her down before we have to. So. We don't want her to age prematurely. So I'm going to hold her collar here and I'm going to toss the ball and I am not going to let her go until the ball is stopped moving. Hopefully I can do this. Oh, my hands. Okay. Wait. She's pretty good at this, so she's good at waiting. I do have her by the collar. Get it. The other reason I make her wait until it stopped moving to go get it, is firstly, safety. I want her to think about where she's going and where she's stepping a little bit. Secondly, it makes the game a little harder. And as you can see, now she has to scent it out. Now she is using her whole brain and her body. And it's not that high impact, high speed thing that's going to break her down too easily. We'll do it again. I knew you want to go again? Yeah, okay. Come here, pumpkin. Oh, clunk. <laughs> Good girl. Can you wait one sec? It's hard to work the phone and the ball and the dog. I only have two hands. I'm going to throw it farther this time. Ugh. Get it. So sometimes it takes her a very long time to find the ball, and sometimes she finds it really quickly, and either way is totally fine. I know all you ball crazy dogs out there, I know you'll work for that ball until you find it. And that's completely fine. But you're going to have to really work for it this time. This game also has the advantage of being far more tiring for her. 
than just plain fetch. This will tire her out, whereas just regular fetch does not. She's certain it's in this bush. If she doesn't get it in a few minutes, I'll help her, but. I actually don't really want to help her. I would much rather she do this on her own. That is how she gets tired. Working out problems and thinking and problem solving and puzzling and trying to figure these things out. Yay, good job, baby. Good girl. Nice job.